Yeah. I uh, first question, how's your body feeling after the day off, or the game off? And then secondly, how was your first game with uh, Norman? Uh, I, I feel pretty good. You know, I think the, the two days that I had really helped. I felt good moving around out there, better than I felt probably in the last seven or eight games. Um, since we played Dallas the second time, I think it was the second time, where I took the first knee. Um, you know, I felt felt as good as I have in that, whatever that stretch of game was. Um, I got hit. I got hit in my hand against New Orleans. I think the second game, so I've been dealing with that too. Um, you know, just shooting the ball and stuff like that. But uh, you know, other than that, I, I thought I, I moved pretty good. I felt pretty good. Uh, my energy was good. My win was good, and uh, we got another win. So. And then, how did you feel your first night playing with Norman? Went. I thought it went well. You know, I think the way I play the game. Uh, you know, I think it'll it allows. Uh, things to flow easy even if we get a, a new guy in. Uh, passing the ball ahead to him, looking for him to transition in the half court, just making the right reads and, you know, keeping my eyes open to see where the, the opportunities are, when the help comes. And uh, just making just making sure that I'm aware of who's involved, who hasn't been involved, who hasn't got a shot, uh, what can we take advantage of and things like that. So I think uh, because that's the natural way I play and the natural way we play as a team, uh, it makes it easy, you know, but it was good to have him out there, you know, knowing there's another guy that can knock down open shots, put it on the floor, get to the rim and finish. Um, and a guy that, you know, really helps our defense. So, um, you know, it was it was fun to be out there with him. Uh, I felt like we, you know, we felt like a, a really, a really good defensive team in that third quarter when we were all out there communicating and talking things out. Uh, you know, so we, we excited to have him. Next question is coming from Dwight Jeans with NBC Sports Northwest. Uh, Dan, Terry won't commit to saying that the three-guard lineup would start every game or, or not. But I'm curious, does it? do you feel different when that group starts? I mean, you're losing some size up front, and Derek is active and all that. But, but what does it give you with the three-guard starting out a game? Uh, I mean, I... When he was in Toronto, he started games with with, uh, with Fred and Kyle. So, uh, you know, it's something that's not new to him. And if you look at our our history of, of having three guard lineups, whether it was me, Baz, and CJ, or uh, me, Ant, and CJ, me, CJ, and GT, or uh, I guess uh, me, Mo Williams, and CJ, whoever it was, me, Steve Blake, and CJ, I don't know. But typically, we do well with three guard lineups. And he's a, a physical guard. So um, with the way the league is going and teams playing small ball and, and teams having small lineups, um, I think it's I think it's fine. I usually guard up a lot. You know, I, I'm guarding big wings. I'm guarding a point guard. CJ does the same thing. So I think it's, it's more natural for him because he's been playing on the wing his whole career. Um, and we've been in that position as well when we have like our – our tall and long athletic defenders like Rocco and DJ on the ball. We've we played off the ball, so I don't think it's a big deal. Um, and I think the numbers show that those lineups work really well for us. And he's a, um, a high quality player and experienced wing, so I think it'll I think it'll work. Jamie Hudson, NBC Sports Northwest. Dame, how would you describe the impact that Robert Covington and Derek Jones Jr. made tonight? I mean, they had a great impact on the game. You know, when you think about the length, the athleticism, uh, you know, what they're capable of doing. They, they rebound, they get deflections, uh, they block shots, they contest shots, they uh, read plays, they anticipate things. And, um, you know, when those guys are sharp and, you know, impacting the game the way that they, they did tonight, um, you know, we I think we show what we're capable of as a group. And, uh you know, we need that. We need them to be that version of themselves. If, if we're going to uh, continue to work towards turning things around defensively. <clears throat> Casey Holdall, Trailblazers.com. Amy, you had mentioned that third quarter defense you guys played. What did you like uh, out of that third quarter, particularly on that end of the ball? Uh, and I noticed you, you talking to the guys after the third quarter, you were saying, like, let's not waste this. Yeah. So if you could talk about that a little bit as well. No, I mean, we. I think it's a, been a huge discussion about us being, you know, at the bottom in defense and toward the bottom. And, you know, coach is always like, yeah, we talk about it, but we got to make some changes. We got to we got to improve on it. And I don't think our issue is that we don't play defense. I think it's that we don't sustain it. You know, we don't do it consistently. We'll play 
a great first quarter and then a terrible second and third. And then when the game was on the line, the fourth will tighten up and win a close game, you know, with six stops in a row and then three stops in a row. It's a matter of being able to sustain a certain level. And, um, you know, that's the best team doing. We just haven't been able to do it. But I think in that third quarter, um, it was huge because it wasn't like we were just out there making a bunch of shots. And the offense was flowing easy for us. You know, usually that's when we have our best defensive efforts when the offense is going well. And then we have more energy, more bounce about us um, on the defensive end. But tonight it was like, all right, we gave up 40 in the first quarter. Second quarter was a little bit better. We got to keep, we got to pick it up defensively. Um, and we just committed to that end of the floor. You know, it wasn't a special effort on offense. It was what we did defensively. Um, and because of how the game turned, because of what we did defensively, I was just encouraging the team, like, we don't got to do nothing special. We just got to stay solid, keep communicating, um, keep being physical, and, you know, take the challenge. 12 more minutes, we win another game. And uh, that's all my message was. You know, we show what we're capable of, but now we got to sustain that level. You know, we got to show that we can hold that level of focus for longer than a quarter or half of a quarter. So that was it. Last questions coming from Aaron Fentress with the Oregonian. At the beginning of the season, because of the lack of training camp and you had new players coming to and Jones, you guys talked about being better later in the season than you were in the beginning, but then you lost CJ and Nurk, and now you just made a trade. So it's almost like you're starting over in a way right now. How long do you think it'll take to get this crew together on the same page to be flowing 100%? Well, I think it... <clears throat> Like you said, at the beginning of the season, it's different because you got so many new guys that are playing a significant role. And you got to find your way. You got to figure it out. They got to learn us. We got to learn them. And then early in the season, we lose CJ. We lose Nurk. Um, you know, Zach is out for a long period of time. And then we make a trade at the deadline and lose two guys. And um, I think the positive thing is that we're bring you know, Nurk and CJ coming back. It's two guys that have been here for years and they, they know what we do. You know, they know our way. Um, it's just a matter of them getting their bodies back into it. But I think they'll get back into it easy. Um, and then us, you know, keeping Norm uh, up to speed and, you know, letting him kind of grow into what we do and understand what we do. Uh, but because of, you know, how we had to play and what we had to do to continue to win while CJ and Nurk was hurt, I think everybody else got more comfortable and everybody else uh, found their way because it was needed for us to be able to, to win games. Um, so I, I think once they jump back in and they get back, you know, physically – feeling right um, and their wind is right and they get comfortable out there and then Norm gets comfortable out there, that's when it'll, I think it'll be faster and I think we'll be a better team because of it. All right. Thanks, team. We're going to wrap there. All right.